of how does one make change in the world? How do you do that effectively? How do you uh, overcome the obstacles that impede the kinds of changes that you want to see in the world? This year's recipient of the Rose Walters Prize is James Baylog. This gives us fantastic energy and resources for going forward and telling the stories that we have to tell. Look at that. Look at the whole thing. Yeah, this year's recipient we're really excited about, James Baylog. His work was featured in a movie called Chasing Ice. It's the memory of the landscape. That landscape is gone. It may never be seen again in the history of civilization, and it's stored right here. The uh, Rose Walters Prize is given each year at Dickinson College to recognize an individual or an organization for the environmental activism work that they've done. Climate change is a universal human issue. It doesn't belong to Republicans or Democrats. It doesn't belong to left or right. It touches all of us. We look for recipients who really have made a major impact in whatever field that they're working in. His work brings together both science and art um, in a way to really try and make visual ways that people could understand and relate to climate change, not as an abstract scientific issue or a threat that's 100 years off in the future, but something that is happening now, happening today, and having impacts at a scale, at a magnitude that just stuns you when you watch the, the imagery of his films. So with the uh, Rose Walters Prize winners, they come to campus for uh, a two or three day residency. And that really gives a chance for our students to interact with these people in small group settings, sometimes one-on-one. -on -one. The recipient uh, of the Rose Walters Prize receives $100,000. It's one of the largest environmental awards uh, in the country. And our hope is that with those resources, the individual is going to be able to continue their work and amplify it. I'm looking forward to returning in September and doing the uh, workshops here, the seminars for a few days, and uh, communicating more of our story to the Dickinson community.